In yesterday's video, we saw the ability for ChatGPT to create more complex cloud codes and queries. And this raised so many questions from you guys that we decided to give it another try with one of the most requested topics that you guys sent to my email, which is geolocation-based apps. And we are also going to see the differences between ChatGPT 3.5 and 4 and see which offers the better solution. So in my mind, I already have a solution for that that I know for experience it works quite well. And we're going to see how it behaves in ChatGPT. So here I have ChatGPT in version 3.5 and I'm going to paste in the following um, scenario in a prompt. So I have a parse app in Backfrap that has a user class, a property named location, which is a geo point and stores that user's low current position. In another class named place, another property also named location is also a geo point and stores the location of the place. Create a JavaScript code that prints the 10 nearest places to the user. So, what I would do is to use the near method from the JavaScript SDK in order to retrieve all the, the nearest places to the user, limit it to 10, as I asked for the 10 nearest places, and I would, I would not order it because it comes already ordered from that method. Let's see how ChatGPT works in version 3.5. So there you go, we can see it's setting a user location after instantiating parse, the parse SDK and setting the server URL for back for app. And in here it's limiting the uh, query to 10 results, which I asked, and it's actually using the nearer location for the current user. So this seems quite a good code and it would work. The only thing that I don't see exactly in here is a check in order to see if that user is logged in. Because while I did not ask ChatGPT uh, to check that, it would be mandatory in order to proceed. So it would avoid the execution of most of this code if the user is not logged in. So let's change that for ChatGPT number uh, 4.0 and see how it works. So ChatGPT 4, I'm going to paste in the exact same prompt and let's see how it does. You can immediately see that uh, it's taking a little more time to run in ChatGPT 4. Uh, this is known uh, because ChatGPT has been suffering to uh, deliver results in the, uh, the version number four due to high demand. So there you go, it's instantiating parse, initializing it, setting the uh, URL for your app id.backfrap.io. This the, it got this different, and look, it's getting the current user and the user location, but it's also not checking if the user is logged in. So in a case where the user is not logged in, it will try to execute most of this code, uh, which would lead to errors. It also used the near location, which is correct, limit it to 10, and printed it out. So while this codes both for ChatGPT 3.5 and 4 works uh, quite, uh, quite the same and it would probably work without any other reworking, you can see it doesn't check for all the possible scenarios and you have to ask ChatGPT to check if the user is logged in prior to proceed. So it would give you a working code while not a 100% working one that would uh, fit all scenarios. You gotta pay attention to that when you're developing your app using ChatGPT. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.